All right, let's go and break it down. I appreciate the feedback. So let's go through this one by one, video by video. So again, you can find this form. If you look at my link section of my bio, it will take you to a bunch of links because I'm going to start updating that with some more stuff. And then you can get this um, four by four chart of saying what it is we're looking for. You'll see parts of it here. And so we're going to go over the answers to the quiz. So again, from the side view, there's only three things we can look at. Criteria one, two, and three. And from the back view is the only view that we can get for the fourth. So again, this is screens. We're keeping it basic. So without further ado, number one, do they lock at any point throughout? Just before this, my knee went all the way out straight. It locked, fail. If I'm overstriding, which tends to happen if we're landing pretty far out in front of us on the heel, we're going to see that knee lock out in the front. We'll get on later in the assessments in the yellow and red. The knee can lock out towards the back side of you, the push off, but should not lock out in the front. So I fail with that. Wrist staying below. You'll see here, it's pretty close, but my wrist goes parallel. Fail. It should, wrist should always go just slightly below. Again, that's because we're falling forward and we're making sure that it's slightly below the elbows. If it's parallel, then we're, we're gonna fail, which you'll see kind of matches up with why the posture fails is because I'm arched back. I want my shoulders stacked over my hips, but I'm not excessively arched backwards or forward. Here you see I got a little bit of excessive arch backwards, so therefore I fail the posture. Okay, so the second one, we got one pass, two other fails. So what am I still doing? I'm still, same idea, I'm still locking my knee out in the front. I'm still having my wrist is slightly parallel, if not above, so it's the fail. But what I have good here is the posture. So again, you'll see I'm not arching backwards. I have that slight fall forward, but I could still draw a line through my ear, through my shoulder, through my hip, and I'm falling just slightly in front of that. So again, you'll see fail on the knees, fail on the wrist, but the posture actually looks pretty good for that one, so we get a pass for that. Okay, so for the third one, we're changing it up. We're still failing the lock in the knee on front, still over striding. Posture, it's pretty obvious here, I'm hinging way too far forward at the hips, not at the ankles, but my wrists do stay below the elbow. So in the previous slide, I was up and arched backwards, so my arms, my wrists were parallel with my elbows, still fail. Here I can actually keep my wrists below my elbows, but because my posture is so often on forward, that's part of the reason why I'm passing the criteria. So again, it's from the ankles, not the hips, that we're leaning forward. So that's why we got a pass here for the arms, but fail for everything else. Okay, so the fourth and final one from the side, again, the sides where we get criteria is one, two, and three. For the first time, we're gonna pass the knee locking out, but we're still failing with the wrist, we're still failing with the posture. You'll see why with the posture, I march backwards. You'll see why with my arms. But notice how though my knee, I actually start to bring it back underneath me. By the time it actually lands flat, I start to bring it back underneath. So I'm actually not over striding here. That was a good example, but I still am failing the criteria when it comes to wrist going above the elbows. So you'll see my vertical displacement is excessive, too much up and down. My posture is too much arched backwards, but I do actually bring my foot back underneath me and I'm not over striding from that standpoint. So we got our first green for that section. So criteria number four of the green screen this is the only thing we're looking from from the back. Later on in yellow and red, there'll be some other things we're looking at from this view, but for right now, I'm just seeing, do I cross midline or do I not? When we walk, there's a certain space that should be between your legs. The faster you go, it narrows, but it should never cross over. Just think of like driving down the highway, stay in your lane, don't cross over. So this first one is an example of me failing, and you can either take a piece of paper, split it right down the sacrum, and does my foot disappear? fail, or, and you can kind of see examples of that with the shoulders going side to side. Or for number six, it's good. You'll see here, I stay just off the side of that line. I'm not crossing over. So this is an example of a fail and for a pass of crossing midline. That completes the green screen. Any questions, drop them below.